Hello all of you beautiful, wonderful, and amazing people. It's Rayon Tanae and I'm back with another video. <laughs> Yeah, my baby so bad, she feel like Diana, her skin on 10, you know it's a pleasure, them lips so soft, they feel like a feather, hey, yeah, I see it, I like it, I want it, I get it, she want it, I buy it, you know I go spend it, my baby the realest, I couldn't do better. So, today I'm going to be showing you guys how I got this beautiful classic brown smoky eye look. Someone requested for me to do a tutorial on this look and so I was finally able to get around to it and I'm so happy and I'm so excited. I don't really know if I did the best job at explaining this but I tried my best so I'm sorry if I sucked a little at the details but you can just watch with your eyes and see you know play it back rewind it pause it do whatever you gotta do um but yeah I just really hope y'all love this look as much as I do. This is the ultimate go-to. You can wear this look anywhere and be acceptable. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just, it's classic. It's classic. You can't go wrong with it. It's timeless. Stay tuned and I'm going to get into this video. But before we start, I want to remind y'all to subscribe, like, comment. You know what I'm saying? Watch the video through. Tell me if you like it. Tell me what else y'all want to see. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how this goes. Y'all already know how all this goes. You know what I'm saying? We can be friends. Join the team. What's up? What's good? It's fun over here. Thank y'all so much for tuning into this video. Let's get into it. Um, Hopefully, I can keep my camera in focus because I'm using my camera and y'all know how my camera be sometimes. And I hope my head just don't look crusty. If they do, forgive me because I've had these braids in for a few weeks now and there's probably edge control building up. And if it crusts over, then, you know, it's just girl problems. The first step to a beautiful smoky eye is going to be your brush. You gotta make sure you've got the utensils to, you know, complete a look like this. And if you don't have brushes, you can wear the Walgreens, Walmart, even Dollar General probably has a pack of blending brushes that you can get. And normally it says blending brushes, so you shouldn't have a hard time finding it. If you do, just ask the store assistant. I don't know, you could order some if you got time, if you want to. But yeah, so now the second step is, okay, wait, I missed it. The first step before the brush is to make sure you have a base. I already did my makeup, and when I do my makeup, I get my foundation all over, including my eyelids, and then when I blend out my concealer, I blend it onto my eyelids, and then when I set my under eye then I bring some up here too so I already pretty much have a base on my eyelids so you want to make sure you have a base if you're not a full face type of girl you can just take some concealer or an eyeshadow base and just put it on there blend it out and then set it and that's your first step and you also want to make sure it's the same color as your skin just so that you don't have any conflict with the blending once you get started with that so yeah that is your real first step and this is the second step your brush you need that nice little blending brush so then the third step is going to be to make sure you have a neutral palette and in my case I'm using the Morphe 39A Dare to Create it's a pretty old palette but it still works wonders for me and this is what it looks like so the first color I'm going to be taking is this one right here because if you want a nice blend you have to create a blend you can't just slap on a dark brown and expect it to come out the way you want it to it just doesn't work like that unless you're really talented so you want it to you want to build up because that's what's going to give you the effect that you're looking for so yeah I'm going to take this color here Swirl that around there a little bit, tap it off. You don't want too much. And then I'm just going to go in my crease and start swirling that around. Pretty much just blend that around. And like at first you won't be able to see it, but you're building, so you're going to go back in and tap again. 
and you're gonna keep building it up until you get that gradient shade. You're gonna go in the crease and a little bit above. You don't want it too dark and you don't want it too light. You want to blend it out perfectly so that it accompanies the next shade that you use. So this is how you want it to look after you get done blending out that first shade. It should be very subtle, but still noticeable. So then we're just gonna use the same brush because all we're doing is getting darker. So we can use the same brush. So I'm going to take this brown shade. It was that one. And now we're taking this one. We're just really gonna try to focus in the crease with this one. We're not gonna go up or anything. Just focus in the crease. And then when you get to a comfortable shade, just kind of make sure that you have no harsh lines buff that out. Don't go up here. Stay in the crease area when you're buffing out the fine lines. You do want to make sure you go ahead and tap some onto your lids. <sighs> Blending is hard work. And if it's not, then you're not doing it right. The thing is, you need to be able to look at your own eye and say, hmm, this one doesn't look as blended. Let me go back in and try to blend it out better. You need to be able to be a good judge of whether or not you've blended it out enough or not. And so now, for our final shade, I'm going into this super chocolatey brown looking color and yeah we're gonna use that one you really want to make sure you tap with that one because you don't want it to you don't want to put too much and then this color we're just gonna we're gonna put this color on the lid and like I said build it do not rush the process if you want it to look right you must be patient with it And then you can kind of, kind of blow this out a little bit and blend like the, the excess upward over the crease. Because now that first shade you use is working 
to continue to blend the shades together. I mean, to blend the shades out. Now is when you can kind of do that and, you know, get it right. Y'all, I'm not good at explaining this at all, so I, I apologize. Now, you need to be able to check your eye makeup and say whether you like it or not. Now, this honestly looks different in the mirror than it does on this camera. In the mirror, it looks good. On the camera, it looks a little uneven. So I'm just gonna blend that out a little more. Okay, do you see how we created the gradient? Like I said, I'm not that great at explaining this, but I hope that, you know, it was good enough for you guys to understand. So now, I'm gonna finish my eye makeup out, and I'll be right back. So I finished my eye makeup, well, I put on some lashes because it's so crazy. I've been doing makeup for like, I've been like in the makeup since like 2015 and I still struggle to put lashes on myself. So ladies, if y'all are struggling to put on lashes, don't worry, you probably will forever. <laughs> in my case, that's been the truth. I struggle forever. Like I can slap them on somebody else, but when it comes to putting them on me, it's like I've never done it before sometimes, I swear. So now, I'm just gonna, why do I keep doing that? But um, I'm just going to, Use this retractable eyeliner by e.l.f. And I'm going to lift up my eye and just put that on my waterline. And then I'm going to go on the bottom and do the same thing. And now, this is the finishing touch. You could skip this part if you're not a lower um, lash line type of girl. You know what I'm saying? Do, do what fits you. You don't have to do exactly what I do, but okay. So I'm taking this little just like flat brush. And then I'm going to go in with that darkest shade of brown that we used. And I'm just going to put this under, right under that black. I mean right under it. So then you're done. But, if you're like me, you like glow, then I'm going to be taking this little like pencil brush still I'm gonna spray it and I'm gonna take my highlighter I'm using the solar flare cos or solar flare palette by BH cosmetics this one is a little old too y'all know how I do I ain't even gotta explain it if you've been watching me y'all know what I do so yeah now I'm gonna pop this in the corner of my eyes you want to spray it because you want that brush to catch all that product and be able to distribute it properly. And it, it, it works better when it's wet. have the glow and we're gonna all we just we're just always gonna be popping like there's no other option in life 
And then, for the grand finale, I never did put mascara on my eyes, I mean my eyelashes, so now I'm gonna go back in on my eyelashes and I'm gonna add some mascara to my real lashes. So just being very careful not to spread that up into your falsies. Can I get some focus? If you have bottom eyelashes, just smack a little bit on them. And boom, just like that, we did it. We achieved a brown smoky eye, your classic smoky eye look. I'm so excited that I finally did this video. And yeah, and that's it. Thank you ladies so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you made it this far, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and follow me on my social media pages. I will have the links below. I will have the products in the description below. Letting you guys know what I use just in case I missed anything in the video. And yeah, love y'all. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. So soft, they feel like a feather. Hey. I see it, I like it, I want it, I get it She want it, I buy it, you know I go spend it My baby the realest, I couldn't do better